be the president of a Jitas Masters. Use your imagination. What's the first word that pops up in your mind intuitively? Sweet. Sweet? Howard? Busy. Busy. Well, actually, before this semester, I can think of only one word, and that word is tiring. <laughs> but now, I have a different perspective. After this semester, I would say that being the president feels just like falling in love. <laughs> At first, there was this passion and a little bit of that special feeling towards her. I mean, towards NTU Toastmasters, which lured me to take a shot and give it a try. But as a novice, I couldn't help but felt a little anxious and nervous before everything started. And I sometimes even doubted, would I have the ability to carry on? Am I good enough for her? But as my presidential term started, I began to dedicate myself bit by bit into this relationship. My mind and thought drifted to her more and more frequently. No matter I was taking a bus, taking a shower, or even lying on my bed before I went into sleep, I thought about the things here in NTU Toastmasters and made plans for a wonderful future. I couldn't take my mind off her, and I never found the boundary between NTU Toastmasters and me so strong before. But a man on himself couldn't accomplish anything in love, or neither in a club. I used to think I'm not good enough to take on this position as a president before I actually started my term. At that time, I thought, I'm not the most eloquent and charismatic speaker on stage. I'm not mo the most effective and attentive one to handle all the administration work. And also, I'm not the most sensitive and diplomatic person to deal with interpersonal interactions. So I asked myself, what can I offer and contribute to this club? Well, I didn't find the answer then. After I started on my duties as a president, I found my worries unnecessary because I have such supporting and magnificent teammates working with me side by side. So even if I sometimes tumble along the way or make some careless mistakes, we can always work things out and you can complement my shortcomings. That's why we still have so many wonderful meetings and activities this semester. The credit and my thanks all goes to the 33rd officer team for carrying out such a marvelous job. Thank you, Tina, for leading the EVP team and arrange all the trivial but also important details. The joyful meetings with high quality this semester is the fruit of your hard work. Thank you, Richard, for making the best of the mentor and mentee system by communicating very patiently with both sides. We speakers definitely gain a lot from it. Kevin, thank you for the exquisite agendas every meeting. It represents the essence of every single meeting. Leo and Kevin Zen, thanks for the tremendous club visiting you arranged for us every month. It's indeed a great way to know better speakers and broaden our horizon. Thank you, Eric. Where's, oh, Eric. Thank you for patiently inviting us every time to sign up. So we have such a high quality meeting throughout the semester. And Pei Bang, thank you for maintaining the web blog and record down all our meetings. And thank you for the certificates tonight. Following up is our MVP team, who always brings us entertaining activities to strengthen the connection and friendship between members. Dora, thank you for leading a team with so many interesting ideas. 
and high efficiency. You guys always start very early and take care of all the details so well. Thank you. Jessica and Dora, thanks for the wonderful outings we have. They not only are memorable, but they also bind all of us much closer together after knowing each other better. Ariel, oh, thank you for the lovely ice-breaking games you brought to us in the midterm dining. <coughs> Howard and Kevin Huang, the mentor MNT symposium you held together was definitely one of the most important events, and you gave all our new friends a home. Thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Great! I love responses. <laughs> Julia, thanks for bringing us to the Riverside Park for the lovely picnic. And you can always brighten up the atmosphere in our club with your lovely voice. <laughs> Jack? Yeah, singing. I mean, singing a song. <laughs> Jack, the Christmas dining was a really great gathering time for family. Thank you for arranging all the details and create such wonderful memory for us all during Christmas. Then it's the PRBP team. Thank you, Michelle, for leading a team that always brings us all kinds of variety and surprises. You guys always have brilliant ideas that add colors to our meetings. Thank you, Jason, for organizing the club exposition during summer vacation. Because of you, more and more people knew about Toastmasters, and we gained more and more friends. Danny, thank you for the cute puppet video and the other advertisement you did for us during the summer vacation. Lambert, Martin, and Benson, thank you for the elementary school projects, which brought joy not only to the kids, but also to our members. Also, thank you Martin and Benson, Pumba and Timon, for hosting the design meeting and took us to the Africa plane for some great games and shows. I love the RPG. <laughs> also, we have our AD and SAA teams, the artistic director and surgeon at arms, who have extraordinary art talents. Thank you, Bess, Mark, and Shetty for designing the advertisement and posters during summer vacation and serve as the SAA so we can have our meetings smoothly. Special thanks to Bess for organizing our new folders this semester and to Mark for painting the vivid animals in design meeting. Thank you. The two remaining but also very important officers are our secretary and treasurer. First, Harvey, thanks for arranging our meeting venues with me during emergency time. And thank you for giving, uh, keeping us connected to the headquarters and renewing our membership. Author, thank you for guarding our money so well <laughs> and make sure our club is in good standing in finance. Without you, we wouldn't have such a clear record of earnings and spendings. In addition to the officers, I would also like to thank the senior members for supporting us as a speaker, a mentor, or a friend to our new members. Also, thank you, Emma, for willing to take on the role as the future president. And thank you for the exquisite L folders you designed for us. Near the end, I'd like to express my gratitude to Bill April and Claire. Thank you for being there always. You reached out to me, listened to me, and encouraged me in your own gentle ways. Thank you for that. This semester, we have 100 members in a Jutas Masters, just like 100 pieces of jigsaw puzzles. Each of us is unique in our own special way, with different dazzling colors and patterns. But only when we put these 100 pieces together can we capture the true beauty and the essence of the complete masterpiece. Thank you all, my friends in Antio Toastmasters, for participating and supporting us and make this family 
whole and complete. Thank you all. <laughs> this semester, as the president, I tried my best to serve as a coordinator, the bridge between members and our officer team, and the connection between different VP teams. So during this semester, I have experienced things that I have never gone through before, and I have two little things to share. First of all, Accidents happen. <laughs> In my term of presidency, sometimes things wouldn't follow our expectations and plans. So I learned that I should be prepared at all times. Have a pocket script in case there aren't enough speakers for the next meeting. Prepare a self-introduction before club visiting, etc. And when it comes to accidents in club duties, Teamwork is always the best solution. With the support between different VP teams and the help from senior members, we went through this crisis safely. An environment friendly for communication and a supportive understanding helped us through these hard times. Also, a few accidents happened in my life too. You never know, after waking up in the morning, how you would end up returning home. You might be slashed by a scalpel or an operational knife in the finger and ended up in the emergency room. <laughs> or a boy might hold your cheek and confess his love to you during Christmas dining. <laughs> Accidents happen. So I try to let go of the unnecessary fears, like the fears of how other people view me, and let go of the worries that I might tumble and fall because of trying, because of term of presidency and life itself is simply too short for these unnecessary things to bother us. Accidents happen all the time, so we have no idea when our lives would end, or when our presidential term would end. If we have a low opinion poll, such as 9.2%. <laughs> so besides to being prepared, seizing every opportunity to do what I value is also what I learned from the accidents this semester. Seizing chances leads to additional possibilities and options in our lives. And that leads to my second sharing. It's about comfort zone a concept we have heard again and again. Until Toastmasters is a place where most of us can leave our comfort zone with peace in mind. Here, we accompany one another with warm understanding and help each other grow as a speaker, as an audience, as mentor to mentee, and friend to friend. So we dare to expose our weaknesses here to share the most discouraging and unbearable moments in our lives, and to show our sincerity and true thoughts. Because we know, no matter what happens, what we share, or what weaknesses we've exposed, we will still be soothed, still be encouraged, still be accepted, and still be loved. That give us the courage to do what we dared not to do in the past, like accepting the role of being a president. And this helped us improve and grow to become someone different. This is a place for someone as mediocre as me to grow, to change, to transform. In this family, we have the courage to take our initial step out of our original comfort zone. At the moment we take a step out, we're actually broadening the territory of our zone. So after our comfort zone broadens, we have more choices. For me, of course, I can be the original quiet boy sitting down the stage in my comfort zone, very cozily. 
But when the situation requires me to socialize, to talk in public, to take responsibilities, I can now feel a lot more at ease doing so because I broadened my comfort zone through my experiences in being the president. It helps me become a more prepared person and creates more possibilities in my life. These are what accidents and my comfort zone taught me and how they changed me this semester. Thanks for my officer team and supportive friends. I learned while striving to make this place a better place. Being the president is indeed a sweet burden, just like the feeling of falling in love. My heart is tightly bonded to the relationship day by day. I feel worried, anxious, confused because of the connection, but also every time when I see the smiles on your faces, showing that you enjoy the meetings and activities, indicating that what we value is also important to you. I felt happiness sprouting from the depth of my heart, just like a hot spring, moisturing and warming me inside out. So this is what I call the feeling of falling in love. But all good things must come to an end. And now it's my time to bid farewell. Before I leave the stage, I have a present for myself, for my officers, and for the future stars in 2014 spring and TU Toastmasters. This is my favorite song Ci, Ding Feng Po from Su Shi. And I love to share the very beginning and ending of this piece with you. Mu Ting Chan Ling Da Ye Shen, He Fang Ying Xiao Qi Xu Xing. Hui Shou Xiang Lai Xiao Se Chu, Ye Wu Feng Yu, Ye Wu Qing. Things happen, no matter how magnificent, how important, or how depressing it may seem at the time, they will all pass eventually as they disappear in the flow of time. So do not hesitate to try what you think is interesting. Do not hesitate to try something you think is worthy of doing or something you consider great. We travel this path of no return, only once, and its name is called life. So plan it well, do it joyfully, and let it go. Things, no matter good or bad, will all pass eventually, as if nothing really important has happened. So after tonight, the only things I want to bring with me are you, my friends, and the splendid memories we had this fall. A story that has once taken place on this magical and surprising stage called NTU Toastmasters. Farewell. <laughs>